tell you a little bit about what VR is, um, and then tell you a little bit about the sort of space that it produces, and then tell you a little bit about mixed reality, augmented reality, and so on. Um, so obviously, if you're using a headset right now, you've kind of gotten the best demo you can uh, of virtual reality. I mean, it's just uh, uh, much easier to become acquainted with it and uh, you know understand what it is uh, intuitively. Um, and uh, this is partly because it's a substantial question what virtual reality is. Uh, so there's more than one definition. Uh, right now, there's lots and lots of definitions, some used by psychologists, some used by philosophers, uh, and conflicting definitions of uh, virtual reality within, within psychology and within philosophy. Um, but um, let me just try to say something uh, brief about it. Um, so um, essentially, what's happening is that you're going to be putting on this headset, and when you look at this headset, it looks like it's going to be very heavy, it's going to be dark in there, it's going to be like heavy blindfolds. Uh, but in fact, you're going to be shocked when you enter uh, into the headset, uh, because, um, you know, if you know this British show, uh, Doctor Who, this really old show, uh, in it, Doctor Who, who is supposed to be this Time Lord, has this ship called the TARDIS, which basically looks like a telephone booth. Uh, and every time a visitor walks into this telephone booth, their, their first exclamation is, oh my god, it's bigger on the inside. Uh, and this is because, you know, Doctor Who has mastered this sort of technology where he can fit a bigger space into a smaller space. Well, in a, in a real sense, virtual reality does that. Uh, the headset might look restrictive, uh, but put it on and you're going to find yourself in a space of any indefinite size, uh, depending on what we program into it. Um, and so, um, you know, one way of kind of talking about virtual reality is to say that it's an immersive medium and the sense in which it's immersive is not that it's psychologically engaging, uh, but rather it gives you a sense of being present in a space. So, uh, in other words, if you have the headset on right now, you're going to feel like you're over here at the spot where the camera is looking at me from, uh, you know, kind of face to face. Um, so uh, this sense of presence that VR gives uh, is not a complete sense of presence, it's auditory, it's visual, at the moment it's not tactile, uh, but in a sense this is kind of the project. The project is uh, giving ourselves this uh, sense of presence even when we're not in fact present in a space. Um, so you can think of uh, the current headsets as being the counterpart of the earphones. The earphones, once you put them on, give you a sense of being in an auditory space. Uh, now you can get an auditory space along with a visual space. Um, okay, um, and what's really interesting about this space is that it's, uh, first of all, uh, um, uh, uh, completely malleable. It's malleable because uh, it's not, you know, it, it doesn't take the same effort to move things in virtual space as it does in real space. Here, if I wanted to remove the soil, I would have to dig it out. In virtual reality, I could just delete it. Um, and so uh, I can manipulate this space uh, really well. Um, this space is indefinitely expansive. So this means that, uh, you know, if I use the virtual reality headset in my office, I can nevertheless, in my office, occupy, uh, uh, you know, all of Beirut and be able to walk down all of its streets uh, within the virtual space. Um, now, I should add something about this, but just give me a second. Um, uh, let's see uh, what else I want to say about it. Um, um, it's a it's a, a perceptible space, as I as noted, um, uh, but also it's not that it's completely unrelated to physical space. It is related to physical space, uh, but the relation is indefinite, uh, which means that in physical space I might take one step forward, but whether one step forward counts as one step forward in the virtual world or not uh, is an open question, because it's really about how we program it. One step uh, can uh, allow you to traverse uh, millions of miles. So. Uh, then, virtual reality is this technology that gives us a sense of being present in any sort of space, and it does this using a virtual space. Um, and, you know, if you start to think of it in this way, you can start to understand a little bit better what uh, all of this mixed reality, augmented reality, and so on technologies are. Um, if in virtual reality you have an entirely virtual space, 
uh, mixed reality technologies are technologies uh, that take uh, uh, normal, uh, you know, uh, physical or meat space uh, and combines it with this virtual space. And then there's lots and lots of different ways that you can combine it. Um, so mixed reality is a broader category and then augmented reality is one version of a mixed reality. So what is it that we call augmented reality? Well, augmented reality uh, refers to these technologies uh, where you're going to be wearing transparent glasses, glasses that allow you to see through to the real world, uh, but uh, using uh, a kind of lighting technology, uh, we're going to be able to uh, produce light-based uh, objects that are actually representations of the virtual space, um, Maybe I shouldn't have said that, that's a little bit imprecise, but in any case. Uh, uh, and then uh, these objects will look like they're projected into uh, or onto uh, the real world. Uh, so, uh, you know, at the limits of augmented reality technology, uh, you should be able, I should be able to hold a cup uh, and pretend to hold a virtual cup. And from your perspective, you won't be able to tell which one is the real cup and which one is the virtual cup. Um, so this technology is a little bit further off, but you know we're kind of getting closer to it. And so this wraps up the first part of the video. I'll now move on to some of the educational advantages of virtual reality, but I'm going to do it in a disadvantageous way because I'm going to have a 360 video for you. Okay.